I want to show you the top 50 prompts for ChatGPT, and this comes directly from OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. This is from their website. But what I did is I organized it into a simple sheet that I'll include below for download, where you have based on categories, the different categories that these fall into, the purpose for using each prompt, and the actual prompt themselves. And this is gonna have very basic things for prompting, like creating recipes or grammar correction or summarizing text to some more advanced things that I've never seen anyone else covered regarding ChatGPT prompts. Let's jump in. So I'll start here with my list, but I'll show you where I got this prompt from. This is directly from the OpenAI website. But here, the Q&A prompt is one of the most useful ones where it answers questions based on existing knowledge. So I could basically take this prompt and I'll copy it over to ChatGPT and I could paste it over here. So when you basically give this prompt to ChatGPT, if you ask it a question that doesn't make sense, what is the square root of a banana? It's not gonna actually give you an answer and it's gonna answer you in unknown. But if you use this without doing that, if you just ask ChatGPT, what is the square root of a banana? It tries to actually give you an answer. So that is a way to basically prime ChatGPT to give you factual answers and just tell you unknown when it doesn't have a good answer. Okay, here's another one that most people don't know about, and that is actually adding this at the end of long text to summarize it in a shorter version. And all you have to do is add this prompt at the end of any large text, which stands for too long, didn't read. And if you just type this prompt exactly like this and press enter, it summarizes the text for you. And you could do this with a big amount of text as well, and it will give you a summary, and you don't even have to write a sentence. It's literally five characters here gets you that result. This one is really useful. This is a spreadsheet creator. So this creates a spreadsheet of various kind of data. And I'm just gonna show you here the top 10, and then I'll go ahead and link this below. So this one, I could basically have it create a spreadsheet for me, and it's gonna have a title and year of release. I could press enter, and he puts it in this really nice spreadsheet format, and I could copy it from here. So creating these tables of spreadsheet is a really good prompt. This is kind of a fun one, but you could turn movies or music into emojis. So it says convert a movie title into emoji, and here is the prompt. Let me go ahead and copy and paste this one. And this is basically what Star Wars would look like as an emoji. This is a translation prompt, so translate English to different languages and the prompt is translate into one, the first language you want to, the second and third. And I'll type some text here and I'll press enter. And as you can see, I got French, Spanish and Japanese and they're in different sections here and I could easily copy and paste from here. This one is for coders, very useful, but it could explain code. It could even explain code if you have no idea what you're looking at. So I'm gonna take this piece of code here, I'm gonna copy it. And the actual prompt is basically asking what the above code is doing, explained in a concise way. And I'm gonna press enter. And it's gonna use just basic English here to explain to you what different types of code does. You could do this with basic HTML code from your website or more advanced Python or JSON code too. This one is really useful, especially for work. This one turns notes into a summary, turn meeting notes into a summary. And basically the prompt is convert my shorthand notes from a meeting into a summary. So I could just copy this over. I'll paste that into ChatGPT and it's gonna give me a much better way of basically sharing this in email format, for example. So this is one of the prompts that I actually use all the time. And this one is also very useful if you use email. It says extract contact information from a block of text. You could do this with lots of different texts and extract very specific information without manually doing it. And you could do it with large amount of text as well. And just like that, I got the name and the address just from this text by using this prompt. Now, this all came from this platform. It's called Playground. It's from OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. And you could access it at platform.openai.com slash playground. And these are basically these type of presets. So I started with the Q&A and he basically is putting this type of prompt here and you could submit this prompt to get an answer. So this is kind of similar to ChatGPT and it's again from the same company, but it does help you with these kind of prompts, these presets that again, I just organized into that document. But you could also access all of them over here if you prefer. This does have a nice search function, but you'll have to just click on each one here and you'll get the prompt again where I pulled the prompt from and you could open each one of them in the playground and it will load up the prompts and you could submit that prompt and have a back and forth just like you do 
with ChatGPT. We're also finishing up an entire Netflix style learning platform for generative AI. This includes entire courses on things like Midjourney, ChatGPT, Prompt Engineering, and all our courses are very complete with downloadable resources and they're always being updated with the latest updates in AI. And we add new courses and new tutorials on the latest in generative AI every single week. The link for that is in the description if you wanna learn more. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you on the next video.